during my daily research and study on the real estate matter just to bring to you the very best of information and education on real estate matters i came by a story in one of the real estate investments books which is the abc of real estate investing by ken mark laura now ken mark laura is the rich dad real estate investment advisor now in this story a man purchased an investor a supposed investor purchased a hundred unit property in phoenix without any inspection no physical inspection no virtual inspe inspection this investor literally just invested in this property without knowing where the property is located the viability of the location the opportunity embedded in this real estate investment or in this portfolio as well as if the location is suitable for the purpose of this real estate investment now after purchasing this product it consulted ken to manage this um, housing unit now ken is owns a real estate in real estate management company this is why he consulted ken to manage this property now i'm asking myself why would you purchase a property a hundred unit property what several millions of dollars you invested without knowing where this property is located you just invested your hard earned money i'm asking myself why should you even do that as an investor now when ken took up however ken still took up this project of managing this um, investment on inspecting this property ken realized that this said property is in a disrepair state this is just a polite way of saying that this property should be condemned in fact it shouldn't be anywhere close to a real estate investment for a returns on investment but then however ken still took up this point. now the worst story is the fact that there are gang members live residing in this housing units to the point that the state police were advised in fact they were authorized never to assess this unit never to go to this housing unit without a backup now a supposed investor invested in this same unit expecting or um looking forward to a massive return on investment ken being an expert in this game looked into this property and called several professionals in their several industries we call the legal person the surveyor the construction engineer and several other professionals to put this building unit in place now what would have been averted at the point of purchase the tons of dollars that would have been averted at the point of purchase we are employed into fixing this hundred unit property into a good shape for a return on investment now at the point which this investor should be enjoying his returns on investment through cash flow he's investing still investing more money to fixing his property into a good shape of rental purposes now this brings us to our topic for this video which is inspection is the most important activity for your real estate investment here are the five things inspection whether fiscal or virtual five things inspection does for you as a real estate invest as a smart real estate investor but before we dive into it my name is ifoma perpetua lead consultant performa realty limited a real estate marketing company that is committed to working you you the investor watching this video today through making informed real estate investment decision as well as assisting home buyers through acquiring 
their dream home in the best location here in Lagos State and Asaba. Now we are committed in this project and we have a large client base across the country and also abroad. We, are, we have several clients and several partners in diaspora providing housing units and real estate investment opportunities for several investors. Before you ride on watching this video, please like, share with your friends. Yes, share with that smart investor you know. Give us your opinion about this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we bring, bring you informative content and educative content to walk you through making the right decision on your investment journey to get you the best investment added to your real estate investment portfolio stick with us as we run through these five most important factors why you should inspect that property before you fixing your heart and money number one on the list of why you should inspect that property before you invest your hard earned money is inspection helps solidify your purpose of investment now before you invest in any real estate there are certain questions you must ask yourself number one is why am i buying this property why am i investing what is my purpose my purpose of investing in this portfolio if you are not able to answer these questions and if your realtor or your agent don't get you to answer this question you might make the wrong investment decision and then even when you've answered this question on inspecting this property it will give you a guide whether this location whether this neighborhood whether this the idea of this property or of this estate fits in into your purpose of investing into this portfolio now this is one of the basic reasons why you should inspect that property because there are certain neighborhood let's take for instance you are actually investing into this portfolio for commercial base probably you want to build a hotel you want to build a school you want to build a shopping complex or an office plaza or complex it is you can't you shouldn't look towards buying residential property because we have we have several types of property which you would get to see in my next video yeah i'll, put, I'll be posting a video of different types of investment and the ones you you must have in your real estate investment portfolio for to maximize your returns on investment but for the purpose of this video inspection helps you to narrow down and also fit in into your purpose of investing if you want to purchase a commercial property for commercial purposes you should be looking into purchasing residential properties because residential properties are separate from commercial properties mostly in estates in lagos state we have commercial also have residential districts in an estate mostly commercial properties are usually in the front of the estate while the residential are usually at the ballet now you want to acquire a commercial pro property and you are going deep into the residential district to purchase this property are you seeing what an inspection will help you achieve to tell you okay this place you are acquiring this property is not the best fit for your purpose of investing now it's now left for you at that point of inspection to ask the agent the realtor or whosoever took you to that property to ask the person where is the portion for commercial property because my purpose of investment is to erect probably a hotel a motel a bar a restaurant a shopping mall a shopping complex or or so many other commercial outlets now it's left in the place of 
the realtor or agent to bring out the survey and tell you okay this is the front part of this estate and this is the place mapped out for commercial activities now it is now in your place to say okay i need this plot i need this plot for my hotel for my school so before you fixing your money into acquiring a property make sure you inspect that property so that it will fit in into your purpose of investing number two on my list is that inspection helps you to identify if the location or the neighborhood fits into the purpose of this investment yeah i know i've touched on the purpose of investment also touched on commercial properties now there are different types of property we have residential we have commercial we have waterfronts we have um industrial we have special purposes and also virgin land now all of these types of properties have their special use their residential is for residential purposes where you buy where you build your residential housing units or um, build rental units right commercial is for commercial activities for buy and sell of goods and services um industrial uh, real estate is majorly for production and manufacturing of goods and services why special purposes are properties or real estate mapped out by the government to be used for bridge for road for cemetery for um special purposes to the service of the community or of the citizen white virgin land are mostly lands that don't have titles yet some of them basically have gazette or a uh, freehold yeah some of these lands are in um unaccessed accessible locations like you have um just typical mostly typical bush or villages where are still springing up or uh, emerging right now right so inspection will help you to identify if the location suits fix into industry if you want to build an, in, uh, an industry for your business it helps you fit into um, your purpose of investment so that you won't make mistakes you won't make mistakes of buying it i've seen i've seen investors i've gotten investors who tell me if you I actually wanted to buy this property. I actually bought this property. They made a mistake with another realtor. They came back to me and they told me that if you, I bought this property from this realtor, there was not even anywhere he told me that this property is not meant for commercial purpose. That the realtor just told me that this property is going for this certain amount. And I just invested my money. Now I want to build my hospital. Um, the estate management is telling me I can't build a hospital right here. Right now, this is a very great big mistake. Now, this is going to affect his purpose of investing, of investing in that particular city. Now, this might not affect you at the short term, it might affect you at the long term, right? Because you have in mind that okay, I want to use this property for a hospital purpose. And now at the point of starting up my construction, the estate management is telling me that I can't build a hospital right here and it's, I don't even know what to do. And at the end of the day, what you can do is to just go to another location, buy for um, commercial purposes and erect your hospital. So you see, this is one of the reasons why you must inspect that property. And even when you are inspecting the property, ask questions. This is the most important element of investment. Ask questions and make sure that the answers of those questions, the answer given to those questions, um, streamline or checks all your boxes for investment. Now, this is the number two reasons why you should inspect a particular property or a real estate before you invest in that real estate stay with me as you run through the remaining three reasons why you should inspect that property before you invest in the property in the meantime please like 
share this video and leave a comment below after on after you finish watching this video and also please subscribe hit on the subscription button on the subscribe button and follow me for more so that whenever i drop content or educative content or information about real estate and um, investments you'll be the first to be notified so that when you are making real estate investment you'll be able to make the right decision number three on my list is that inspection informs you of the backlog of debt yes this is basically this majorly applies to building units there are so many building units right now that on sale there have been accumulation of view by the previous occupant of that house right there have been several accumulation of view and when you buy that house and parking the utility um, officials will not go running after the previous residents of that um, building they will come to you because they are the current residents of that particular building unit. so this is why you should inspect and when we are inspecting ask questions i keep hitting on this ask questions and not just asking these questions to um the router or the agent because most of them will like will lie to you ask the owner ask make your research yes inspect that property to the point that you are asking down to the accumulated views or the uh, monitoring factor of that building also in landed properties you know you hear of documentation fee you hear of development fee some real estate of um, some real estate some estates um comprise this list of fees into the actual price of the land why some don't comprise it is some differentiates it which is usually written on the subscription form so when you are inspecting the property also um ask the realtor or the asian agent to share with you or to show you the subscription form the terms and conditions on that property so that you will go through it and also um, be informed on other fees or other charges on that property yes now this is why you should also ask questions ask questions ask questions don't be shy don't be this is your money you suffer to earn this money so don't just throw it away to some shabby investment ask questions get to know the other fees attached to this property if there's a backlog of debt if there are um, hidden charges if there are bills that are yet to be paid if there's anything if there's any encumbrance on that property ask questions and make sure that you are satisfied with the answers given to you so this is the third reason why you should inspect that property before you um invest in that property i'll be also i'll also be talking about all of these charges like the documentation fee the development fee but not in this video to so come in my next video just anticipate but be less assured that in this channel we are sharing with you informative content and educate you on making the right real estate investment decision stay with me as we run through the remaining two reasons why you should inspect that property before you invest in that portfolio number four is the fact that inspection eliminates sentiments yes so many people invest in a property just because this property was introduced to them by their relative or by their friend they just say okay since this is my relative i trust his or her judgment and i'm just i'm just gonna invest in this property no that is the wrong way of investment i've had a an, an investor come to me and told me that I regret ever purchasing this property. I wish I can get my investment back. Now, this this person is halfway into completing 
the purchase of that property and he's already regretting invest now ask him why did you invest in this property in the first instant the first place and he told me this is because this person that introduced this property to me is my brother is my brother and at the end of the day he realized that this is making a great mistake for investing in this project I think I, because i showed him something better i gave him something better and also the reason why he's investing in that property that actual property did not fit into that reason and he's regretting investing in that property. and he's requesting for his money back which is close to being difficult yes which is very close to being difficult so before you invest in that property make sure that you don't impose sentiment because this is your money this is your money it's not for your brother it's not for your friend this is your investment when you are suffering or going through court cases your brother will not be he might not be there right so make sure you don't include sentiment when you are purchasing a portfolio go straight to the professional in this industry we have several real estate consultants real estate investment advisor meet them let them give you the best investment opportunity now also see people buy um properties because these properties are cheap no that is a wrong um manner or wrong purpose of invest you don't buy a property because the property is cheap because you might buy, buy a property and the property is actually committed because you have true state of a property free and committed now a property can be committed on the basis that the government has an interest in this property why a property can be free as well which means that the property the government who is a custodian of all real estate in any location has released this property either to an individual or to a company or to a family or to a community this means that the government has watched on literal meaning the government has washed his hands of this property and said okay you know what you can actually you can sell this property to someone else or you can um you can erect any structure you want to erect in this real estate but for we the government we don't have interest in this property now these are the information you should have these are the information we give you on this channel right so before you invest in any property, please and please don't invest in that property because your friend introduced you to that property. Don't invest because your brother or your sister or your mother or your father introduced you. Make sure you understand the state of that property. Make sure you consult a professional. Number five of why you should inspect a property before you invest in that property is that inspection followed up with due diligence keep you a step away from the courts yes keeps you step away from court case on properties because my brother my sister Court cases on real estate investment has stripped people of their hard-earned money. I've had um, a real estate investor, a, a client based in the UK. She bought a property in Asaba. Now, this is very common in Asaba and Lagos State. Yeah, so she bought a property in Asaba, a um, over 20, 24 million naira uh, then in 2005. Now, she bought this property and traveled to the UK. Coming back to, to start building on this property, realized that this same property has been sold. She realized that this same property has been sold to three other investors and the last person is already erecting a building in that property. And she's like, why should this be? She had to register the case to court until today, since 2005 till today, the case is still in court and the property right now is on caveat emptor. 
which is one um, state of a property where um, the, the property is, pla is placed on buyer's beware or stay away, right? So before you purchase a particular property, make sure you inspect, make sure you take a coordinate of, in fact, go there with your surveyor, take a coordinate of that property. Don't trust the judgment of the realtor or the agent. No, don't trust. It is in your place to do your due diligence in that property so that you don't lose your money. Yes, so that you don't lose your money. Don't take the word of the company for read. Make sure you conduct your due diligence. Go with a surveyor or with your phone, you can take a coordinate of that um, property. Go to the surveyor general's office, check if this property is free from any form of encumbrance, right? Now, this will help to free your mind from any troubles of investing in a particular so that when case arises, you know that you've done your due diligence and also um, in doing that due diligence, make sure you perfect the title of that document. Now, touching to where I said you shouldn't buy a property because it's cheap. Yes, you shouldn't buy it because it's cheap, but you should buy it because you have a long term in mind. Actually, buying this property for a long lasting purpose, right? So, now make sure you perfect the title. At least your property should have either a government or governor's consent or a CFO so that you don't have any business with anybody you know that this property is secure so that when, whenever someone brings a case of that property to you you know that you have the right document and you can defend this property to any length and this property is yours so before you invest in a property inspect it take the coordinate the four coordinate points of that property take it to the right office so the general's office Confirm that this property is free from any form of encumbrance. Then now take a step further to get to perfect the title of that property. There are also some routers or some agents like me, like I, that can go that length, they can travel that length to so walk you through the every process. Now, even if you're not in the country, this is now where your lawyer should come in. After as well as they're taking this the Surveyor General's office and confirm that this property is free from any form of encumbrance. Now the lawyer can go further to perfect the title of this document. And then you have your, so you can now beat yourself your chest and say, yes, this property or this real estate is mine and is sitting um, perfect in my real estate investment portfolio or in my investment portfolio. Now, this is the five, these are the five reasons why you should inspect that property before you invest in that property i hope this video was of great deal to you now before you make an investment you should know what you now know what to do before you invest your property your money in the invest in that investment don't invest because of sentiment make sure you confer, your, you conduct your due diligence ask questions yes ask questions make sure the answers to this question answers all your questions and checks ticks all the box all the curiosity so that you know that if you are investing 50 million naira, if you are investing 100 million if you're investing 20 if you're investing 500 000 naira, this investment once it's appreciate you don't have doubts if the government is taking it away from you if someone is claiming your property or if anything is happening to your property you know that this property is for you and for you alone right i hope this video is of great deal to you don't forget please like share and leave a comment below you can make a suggestion of any point which i omitted or also suggest um a topic for my next video yes you can tell us this is your concern if you performer can you touch on this i will be so delighted to do so for you and for other amazing um investors remember my name is ifoma perpetual your first and very best of 
when it comes to real estate matters and informative content on real estate. I am the lead consultant, Performer Realty Limited, a real estate marketing company that is committed to walking you through the investment process, walking you through making informed real estate investment decision, as well as assisting home buyers through making, through acquiring their dream home. We have a large client base, both Nigerians in Nigeria and Nigerians in diaspora. We have in UK, US, um, Australia. We have all over the world. And we walk you through from inspection down to perfection of your title to make sure that this property you have no business with a money or government. This property is free from every form of encumbrance. Stick with us in this channel. We'll be sharing other content of, on how to make the best investment decision. Until I come your way next time, keep investing in real estate and child this is a bonus before you purchase any property before you purchase any housing unit, especially a housing unit, make sure that the person the agent or the realtor or the real estate advisor is telling you is projecting is the owner of this um, real estate is the actual owner of that real estate to keep you away from court cases or to keep you away from premium tiers or trusting your faith of the ownership of that um, property in the hands of the jury. Thank you. Bye for now. <laughs>